What's going on guys? It's Sister Sensor here. How's everyone been? Um, so today I have something really exciting. I cannot wait to share this with you. I have been waiting all month to finally get this. And I'm gonna open it up right here. I have no idea what's actually inside the box, but my good friends from Mouse Marketplace sent it to me. Um, so pretty much what it is is Mouse Marketplace is Disney World personal shoppers. That means there's a specific park item that you want that you can't get at home. They will go out, they will buy it for you, and they will ship it to you. Um, they also do something called snacking around the world, snack boxes. So I'm so excited about this. This month was France, and pretty much with this box, what they do is they go around to different countries and Epcot and get you, you know, a couple of park merchandise items, and on top of that too, like some fresh baked goods and also some prepackaged goods from the actual country in Epcot. Now, I don't know about you, but y'all know, I am such a huge Disney addict, it's not even funny. So to try to get something like this up in New York, like that, where it's still fresh, like that is totally amazing to me. Hold on a second, before we open this box, I just gotta do a little outfit change here real quick. Hold on. There we go. Oop, tag sticking out. That's okay, look at that. Much better, I feel like this is much more appropriate. Just saying. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get started on this box. Just wanted to point out this epic sticker right here. I mean, how cool is that? And of course you got the Mouse Marketplace stickers, and I don't know, the packaging on this is good. Even the tape has their name on, the, on there. I mean, how official is that? That is awesome. So let's get this bad boy open here and see what's inside. Technical difficulties, hold on one second. That side's free. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, this is just what I opened the box to right there. A park map from Flower and Garden Festival, which is what's going on there right now. I'm kind of really excited about this because I love park maps. I kind of collect them. And then of course you got the France colored uh, tissue paper, which I just think really adds something to the box. I mean, they're notorious for wrapping things very well. I'm just excited to see how this all went down. What did we get? What did we get? Okay, so we got some packing stuff. More packing stuff. Oh my god. Holy shnikes. What did you guys do? Okay, so first things first that I noticed is an adorable little Epcot reusable tote bag, which now finally my collection's complete. Yay, I needed this one, because I don't know about over by you guys, but over by us, they charge us for bags at the grocery store, so things like that just make everything so much better. Let's see, what do I got here? Mini Madeleines, French sponge cakes with chocolate chips. Those actually look pretty good. I mean, I guess they're like little, Cakes? I don't know. Hmm. Let me open one up and find out. Oh my god, guys. I wish you could smell this. This smells so good right now. Mm. Normally, I'm not a big fan of cake, but this is amazing. On like so many different levels. Mm. Actually, I gotta finish this. This is so good. Uh oh. Mm. Those are to die for right there. Oh my god. Now, guys, this next thing is so freaking awesome. I mean, not for nothing. Y'all know I cook. It's what I do. I cooked for my brother for a very long time. And for the longest time, I have not had a really good wooden spoon. I mean, this is so cute. It even says France on it. Notes from the parks, the stickers on the back. 
And this thing is sturdy. Like, this is something my grandmother would have, like, used back in the kitchen back in the day. This thing, it's all solid, one-piece wooden spoon. That is awesome. I can see myself definitely, like, cooking some good food with that. Let's see, what else do we get in here? Oh, guys, they sent little macaroons. I've had these before in, um... In the France Pavilion in Epcot, and to, honestly, they are some of the best macaroons I've ever had. And look, there's so many pretty colors, and this is actually a, normally a fairly pricey, like, item in there. You, like, you would think six little macaroons, oh, what could, what could that be? Like, five bucks? No, these are like 12 or 13 dollars in the parks. So that's awesome right there. Um, just to be clear, I ordered the bigger of their two boxes. They have two size boxes, spoonful of sugar, which is $49.99 plus tax. And then adventure is out there snack box, which is $99.99 plus tax. I got the bigger one. Very excited about that. Cannot complain. Let's see. What else do we got in here? Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Okay, I see pink and sparkly. Oh my god, I've wanted this one for so long. Okay, so y'all know I'm obsessed with Disney and the castle and pretty much everything to do with it. But as a bride-to-be especially, I feel like I needed this cup. Like, I feel like you can't even really see it. Hold on. Okay, so it's what the cup says. It has a little icon of Magic Kingdom of a... I'm sorry. Wow, Magic Kingdom Castle. What kind of noob am I? Cinderella's castle on it. And it says, if you need me, I'll be in my castle. And this is so cool. I mean, it's like a little coffee cup type thing. It has a removable lid. And look, there's like a hole. The hole in this, in the top here, is big enough. You could even put a straw through. Like, if you just wanted to use it as a regular tumbler for cold drinks. Like, this is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Okay, what else do we got in here? Looks like I got some... Yeah, I'm gonna butcher this. Um, Barnier? I don't know. Any people who speak French familiar with these at all? You can't really see because of the glare, but... I have no idea how to say that, but I think these are like little lollipops. It looks like I got grape and lemon. Those will be fun. Okay, and then I got a Kinder Country Bar. I've had a lot of Kinder products over the years. As you guys know, I have a lot of family in Europe, but I don't think I've ever come across this one. That's gonna be kind of cool. I'll have to give that a try later. Let's see. And then, ooh, I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. It looks like some kind of little, little, cookie, sponge cakey type thing, but I'm sure it's delicious. It looks super fresh. Like sometimes you can tell like in prepackaged goods, like that they don't look fresh, but like this still looks so, I mean, this looks so, I hate using this word, but it looks so moist and delicious. That's gonna be something to try later. Let's see. What else do we got in here? Oh my god, Phil is gonna be so happy. So they sent us a big giant chocolate chip cookie. I mean, look at all of those chocolate chunks in there. Does that not look so delicious? Oh my god, I have to try some of this now. This is gonna be bad. Oh my god. Guys, this was just like a little bite of heaven, to be honest with you. It is fantastic. It's still so soft. The chocolate in it, it's not overbearing, but it's like a nice, rich, like semi-sweet chocolate chip. So, oh my God, I don't know. And the cookie is huge. I mean, literally, like, look at this. It's like the size of my hand. And it even has a sticker from the bakery right on that. 
which is this right here. Le Halles, something like that. I don't know. Again, don't speak French. Um, but this is the bakery that's in the France Pavilion in Epcot, and that is just so amazing. What else do we got in here? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this right here, I'm going to have to save for later just because I know what this is. So this is the chocolate hazelnut cream filled beignet from the France Pavilion. And normally, like when you get it in the parks, it has powdered sugar on it and it's so good. I mean, this feels like it's packed full of what is essentially Nutella. Now, Kristen did mention on the page that the that the baker recommends throwing this in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds before use and then dusting it with powdered sugar. Honestly, I'm probably going to just warm this up and eat it cuz I don't think it even needs the powdered sugar, I mean. Either way though, this these are one of my favorite treats at Disney World and they are delicious. Now what else did we get in here? And one more thing. And this one I think they just sent me as a thank you for making a video. This is the blueberry almond flavored Main Street popcorn. Now all of you know, or at least most of you should know, I am a total popcorn addict. I love the Walt Disney World popcorn. I love the popcorn buckets. Things like this just make me happy. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. Like, honestly, guys, I don't think you understand to what degree, like, it takes to put together a snack box like this. Like, yeah, sure, there is so many snack boxes out there, but most of it's just prepackaged stuff. It's never, like, the fresh baked goods from the park. It's never, you know, anything that's really cool. Typically, you get some random stuff and like some pre-packaged Goofy's Candy Co, you know, snacks. And there's nothing wrong with that, but the fact that this one actually goes to, like fresh snacks from the park, packs them up the best they can. I mean, this cookie, it wasn't like other than the giant chip out of it now, like that's intact. The macaroons, which macaroons are very delicate, they're all intact. Like to go out there, pack all this stuff up, and then ship it to someone halfway across the country, that is epic. Not to mention too, just going to the parks, going to the bakery and ordering thousands of dollars of fresh baked goods to then go home, package them up all perfect, and then ship them back out to all over the country in the same day to keep them fresh. Like, not for nothing, that takes so much work. That right there is a labor of love. You can't even go around that. Kristen, Rusty, you two are some of the hardest working people I have yet to meet. And honestly, thank you so much for this box. It is amazing. You guys are doing a great job and I can't wait for next month. Anyway, until next time, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon.